Hello. I am at work right now. And I am highly caffeinated. Let's just say that. Okay, today we're going to talk about my bus adventures and things I own, like random things I own too many of. Okay, so you guys know that when I first started college, university, whatever, um, a year ago, the thing that I was most afraid of, the buses. I come from a small town. Public transportation doesn't really exist. I mean, besides, like, school buses and then the one, like, bus that, like, picks up senior citizens. So I was really afraid of the buses. Because the drivers... I mean, okay, I was afraid of... I didn't know how to pay for the bus. I didn't know how the... I don't... just didn't know how the bus works. I had no knowledge about how buses, just, like, the system worked. And I'm like, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost. I don't know how to pay for it. And the drivers are gonna be mean. My fears were logic. Because those bus drivers are crazy. Crazy, crazy people. Um, my favorite bus driver had these, like, skeleton gloves. But they were, like, fingerless. So, like, when he was driving, he was just like, oh, yeah, I am so metal. I am such a hardcore bus driver. I'm going to go everywhere really freaking fast. Got me from, like, one side of the campus to the other three minutes. I don't even think that's legal. I don't think it's legal. And then you get, like, the crazy bus drivers at night who would just, like, like, you turn on, they turn on, like, some R&B and, like, that's their jam. And then we have, like, bus drivers that are really annoyed and, like, they just hate their life. And, like, if you ask them a question, they'll, like, freak out on you. They, like, don't want to help you. You ask them, like, where a specific building is off of a bus route. They don't know. Which, I mean, whatever. It's not really their job, but it could be helpful. And they, like, they, like, well, I can't tell you how many times I've had a bus driver just be so annoyed with the day. They just don't stop at a bus stop. And I'm, like, cool. And when I'm usually at the bus stop... I really need to be somewhere like at a very specific time and so they just go on right past me I remember last year when I was a wee little freshman um it was the day of my chemistry final I woke up 15 minutes before I had to be there I, like I didn't even get dressed I like just was wearing my like pajamas I just threw on a jacket like let's go and so I get outside, because I live, I would live, like, on the very, very outskirts of campus. And so I get outside, and I'm like, I will just take the bus, because it stops right in front of the building I need to go to. Just stops right in front of the chemistry building. And I can get there in, like, five minutes if I just take the bus. And so I was walking up to the bus, and I was literally, like, two feet from, like, me to you. <laughs> from, the like, getting on the bus. And the bus driver just looks me, square in the eyes, shuts the door and drives off. I was like, I'm going to miss my final. I'm going to miss my final. I'm going to fail this class. I was crying. I was like running across campus. I'm like, I have to be there in like five minutes. I'm just like, freaking bus drivers. No. And more recently... Like, this was last week, I think. I was on my way to go get my passport. And the post office is, like, I don't know, like, a 15-minute bus ride from my dorm. And so, I have just, I just have a little bus, I have a bus pass. You just scan it, and you can get on the bus. And so, mind you, I was wearing heels because I wanted to dress up so I could look nice for my passport picture. picture. Hate me. Judge me. Hate me. Whatever. I was wearing heels. And so I went to scan my bus pass. And the bus driver, like, as soon as I get on the bus, step on the bus, bus driver shuts the door, floors it. Not even just, like, a little tiny, not like a little little tap. Like, full on, pedal to the metal, floors it. <sighs> Needless to say, like, it's winter time. 
the inside of the bus is warm. So there's like water. There's just some water. I slipped, fell on my butt in front of everyone on the bus. And the bus driver did not say anything. I was just like, man, buses. Just, that's why I walk everywhere. I don't have to worry about these crazy bus drivers because something ridiculous always happens to be on the bus. I own way too many black socks. It is stupid how many black socks I own. I have like, I don't have any other color socks besides black. I don't know why, it's just been a weird thing. Like, people, okay, <laughs> this is extremely shallow and I know, but it's just some weird, weird psychological thing. People, like girls, when they look at guys, like, oh, what is the first thing you notice? Like, smile, eyes, hair, if they dress somewhat nice, if they're presentable. I will look for socks. <laughs> and I'm just, oh god, that's such a stupid thing. Anyway, black socks. I just love black socks, so. <laughs> um, I just have a whole drawer full. And that's really stupid. I can't, I keep saying it's stupid. It's just really weird. Well, like when I say it out loud, I realize how weird it is. Um, even all of my fuzzy socks are black. I just, it just happens. I don't know. But anyway, I have like, I have a whole drawer, drawer full. I'm so weird. Okay. Well, what else do I own a lot of? bedding like bedding sets I have like I think six full sets of bedding and I ordered more to be shipped to the house that I don't even live in currently I just I like to have options <laughs> and I like I could be like spending money on you know things like I could probably have my own apartment, but I'm not financially responsible because I spend money on things like black socks and bedding. What? Um, yeah, so I just spend all my paychecks on really stupid things. Um, what else do I have way too much of? Caffeine. Caffeine in my system right now. I don't sleep. I drink a lot of co iced coffee. Um, I have another one in my other office that I'm going to go get soon but yeah I don't really sleep ever I've said that like a thousand times so I have a lot of caffeine just going and I'm like sweating so it's like winter but I have the window open because it's hot all right so you guys have a fantastic day um I'm saying day even though you can clearly tell it's dark out because it's 1.30 a.m. So have a great, mm, it's Thursday now? Thursday. Have a great Thursday. And safe travels to all of you. If you're traveling, if not, you're probably traveling from one side of your couch to the other at some point. Good for you. Um, no, safe travels. Good luck today. Later. <laughs>